Kia ora, hello, I'm Philip Duncan. It is Friday the 3rd of October. Thank you for joining me as we take a look at the weekend weather, the outlook for next week, and also the weather for next weekend in this special 10-day outlook. Let's kick off first of all though with today's satellite map showing a few thunderstorms to the west of the North Island and the northwest here. Keep an eye on that rain radar today. It's a changing and moving system as we go through the next 48 hours. And so thunderstorms that are out at sea may not necessarily come in over land. And there may also be downpours and thunderstorms that form over parts of the North and South Island as we go through the next day or so. So a bit of energy coming on through thanks to that low pressure zone. And then it's all followed by uh, with a cooler change. Let's have a look at the air pressure situation. So that cooler change is out here on the western side of the Tasman Sea. On our side of it, subtropical winds coming down for the North Island, a pretty mild morning this morning, and not just the North Island. If you actually track the origins of this airflow, it comes down past the North and then down into the South Island and some parts of it, just some parts of it might just get a slightly milder airflow as a result of that. Otherwise, it is coming around this high pressure zone. So it depends on kind of where you are uh, with your temperatures today. But as we go through the weekend, all of that low pressure moves in. And by the time we get to Sunday, the windier southwesterly change arrives. And that means next week is going to have those windy westerlies back again. So here's how we look going into tonight. Some heavy downpours. We may see a few thunderstorms tonight. They'll be hit and miss, but they're possible around Northland and uh, Auckland, Coromandel Peninsula, Waikato, maybe Taranaki, uh, Bay of Plenty areas, and even into the northwest corner of the South Island. All thanks to the low pressure zone right here that is moving in and across the country as we go into tonight and then into tomorrow morning. So Saturday sees low pressure over the South Island, 987 hectopascals. That means uh, the air pressure is dropping enough for there to be instability, which means you can have showers that bubble up, thunderstorms that come out of nowhere, blue sky one moment, dark sky the next. That's what we get with lower air pressure. The cold change out at sea here, but you may even feel that, you know, as the, as the day goes on, the, the temperature's kind of dropping. And this is not like a big major blast that we saw a few weeks ago where we felt frost right up into the top part of New Zealand. But it is showing you an injection of polar air is coming into this low as we go through the weekend. So showers, dry spells, and like I said yesterday, when you've got low pressure over New Zealand, that breaks our forecasts. Because we don't have open data in this country, it means that we can't real time track the rain radar into all of the forecasts. So you can have dry spells that surprise you, rain that might surprise you, so keep an eye on that rain radar if rain matters to you. If you're like me, I just love, I don't care what it is. It could be pouring with rain or sunny. It doesn't worry me too much. But then again, I'm not planning something outdoors this weekend and that could change everything if you are. So here we are on Sunday. The cold uh, airflow, you can see in these sort of blue circles. You know when a wave goes up the beach and then before as it retreats, you get a whole lot of bubbles that kind of sink into the sand. That's kind of what these are. It's kind of the bubbles left over of that cold event. So most of it's already dropped back down towards the Southern Ocean. Got these sort of bits of it left over. So you'll feel the temperatures down a bit on Sunday nationwide. It'll be a colder day. And this also means maybe a few snow flurries around the mountains and the ranges of the South Island. It might affect a couple of Alpine highways, although it doesn't look like a huge amount of moisture at this stage, but it is worth keeping an eye on. So unsettled weekend this weekend. What happens next week? Well, it's all about the highs and the lows. No kidding, pretty much every day of life on Earth. But, but this, why, this the reason why I'm mentioning that is because of this high up here, which acts like a lid on the stormy stuff down here. And so as it all pushes up, it gets squeezed with the air pressure and that creates windy weather over New Zealand, windy westerlies. So temperatures go up a bit on Monday around the country, especially in the South Island, as those windy northwesterlies arrive. Um, it's a little windy up around Auckland and Coromandel, but nothing too big up there. Most of that wind Southland and Otago, and as we go through Monday night, that will start to slide further up the South Island. By Tuesday, into the afternoon, that polar airflow back again over the top of the South Island. That means a dusting of snow along the mountains and maybe even a dusting of snow on Mount Taranaki, Mount Turupehu, the central plateau area. And you can see a bit of a cold front here moving into the top of the North Island. So we might have a few heavy showers and a couple of thunderstorms as that comes on through because of the next change to colder weather. By Wednesday, the high kind of moves in over the top of the North Island. So if you want to go to a place that has some settled high pressure, the far north and Northland, that is it. 
Uh, you could sort of argue Auckland, Waikato, Coromandel, Bay of Plenty in there as well, kind of underneath that high pressure system. And mild weather coming in for the North Island, in fact mild weather coming in for the whole country on Wednesday, that pushes the polar boundary south of us again, but as you can see, windy weather over the South Island with all the isobars pressed up and probably a bit windy through the Wellington region as well. As we go through to the later part of next week, the high pressure system moves further east of us, subtropical winds back into the mix again, a few showers, one or two could be heavy, otherwise large dry areas and certainly dry for the eastern side of the, of the country, especially from about uh, Bay of Plenty right down to Southland, Catlins area. You've got dry weather as those west to northwest winds blow on through. We may see gales in some areas, but otherwise, hopefully it's going to be below that problematic level, but you never quite know. It's all in that borderline area next week. So one week from today, high pressure again, northeast of New Zealand, low pressure down here to the south, quite low uh, air pressure as well. So that means it's windy with northwesterlies, but there are subtropical winds around parts of the nation. And if you don't have that, a good chance your airflow is coming out of Australia as well. So it may not be as cold as we go through the later part of next week, but Southland, uh, parts of Fiordland, Southwestland, you, you may well notice the temperatures down due to all of the low pressure down here churning up some of that, that colder polar air. So let's get into the extended forecast next weekend, not this weekend. Now it's worth pointing out this far out at this time of the year can be a little all over the place. So you're trying to zoom out, look at the bigger picture of what's going on and simply low pressure south of us, high pressure north of us, westerly winds blowing again over the country. So whether these showers look exactly like that, can't see that this far out, but if we do have westerlies blowing through, you're more likely to get that wet weather on the western side while eastern areas once more stay dry. And then we go to Sunday of next weekend, and again, windy westerlies blowing across the country, mild for the North Island with a subtropical injection coming in for you. The South Island not quite as warm, but still warm. I mean, it's still a westerly flow coming through, but the polar boundary is still kind of, you know, flirting with the lower part of the South Island. So the weather pattern very much stays like spring with the windy westerlies off and on right across the next 10 days at least, if not longer than that. Although. There's a break in the high pressure systems here as we go into the following week. So we'll be watching what happens here around Australia and on the back end of that high as it all moves away out to our east. And before I go, 10 day uh, rainfall that is expected. You can see the showers, the low coming in this weekend and next week, all the westerlies are building up that rain on the west coast. So the blue over there, you know, going up off the key. Uh, the blue out to the east though, with the green around it, bottom of the scale, which means these areas right along the east may not see very much wet weather unless you get a bit of spillover from that rain this weekend, but you really can tell westerlies are dominating when you see two, 300 millimeters in 10 days over on the west coast. That's all from me. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a great weekend. Hello to Laney, Bob and Jack in Lower Hutt. Have yourselves a great weekend.